end and fight meningitis in Kenya, we have started uh, a foundation called the Meningitis Information um, Care and Research Foundation, which we hope will be able to give information to uh, prevent and fight meningitis. It is largely misdiagnosed and really it's not known as much in Kenya, but uh, maybe with more awareness, people will be aware of it and uh, be able to take preventive measures. It came from a friend of mine who lost a very close relative who was even expecting, and the loss of a mother and a child was a very difficult thing for him. So talking about it and seeing what he's going through, then you see that the disease is really, it's really there. It's just that it's not talked about, but it, you know, three, four people came together and we realized, hey, we all have lost someone to meningitis. So we went out to other people and started uh, reaching out to them and saying, why can't we start um, this organization? When we talked and put it on media, people started calling and saying, hey, I lost my limbs, I'm like this, I'm like that. Where do you have, where are you based so that we can come? Because we need to come, we need to meet others. So we realized there is a need, there's a vacuum, and we need to do something. Even if we're going to just prevent, give the information, it prevents the deaths if, and prevents disability. If we're going to provide a platform for networking, then we're touching somebody's heart someone is going to find a friend, to find comfort, to find solace in knowing that they are not alone.